How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. This is a quick RPG Maker MV tutorial where we look at a way to add some potential replayability to your dungeons or your levels by uh, distributing random loot when they open the chest or uh, whenever you do, we're going to do it in a common event. So whenever you want to call the common event to give like one of many different types of items. Like say you've got a list of 50 items that this chest could contain and you wanted to pick a random one, but you don't want to do a list. Uh, some of the tutorials I've done in the past are pretty long. You just make a list for if this number, if that number, and you just, I found a very easy way to do this. So basically this is an easier method of something I've already done a tutorial on. So we uh, talked to this guy, it's running the common event, and we gained this uh, Vitality plus 10 core item, uh, which is going to upgrade. And this time we got a 20 strength. And there's about 30 or 40 items that we can get um, from this guy randomly, and it'll upgrade, uh, update the description, it'll update uh, what item it gives you uh, each time, and it'll award that, that item and, and whatnot. So let's take a look at how to do that in-game. Pretty simple thing that you might want to figure out how to do. Um, if you've got a hundred items and you want the chest to contain those hundred items, well it could take you probably 10 minutes to do the whole list for that or you can just type it out in like 30 seconds. So um, let's take a look at the event, very simple event. We're just calling a common event, uh, common event right there under flow control. Uh, you do this in your chest if you want to put it in your chest. Uh, instead of change items, you just call a common event. And if you have your common event, say what you've uh, awarded, you can delete this and delete this as well and just call a common event uh, for the chest. And it'll work for your chest as well. Let's take a look at the common event you're going to be creating. Very, very simple. Uh, create a new variable. Uh, just take note of the number the variable is. Mine's 96. And uh, call it whatever you want. I'm calling it loot roller. And I'm setting it to a random number between the starting item that I want the item to drop and the last item that uh, I wanted to drop. So 351 to 374. Before we finish the rest of this, let's jump to our items and take a look at the items we want to call upon. We want to have a chance to get in our loot drops. Um, so you might have to, you know, right click, copy, and paste it somewhere right there if you want it to be one of these items. You know what I mean? Uh, so you'll have to do some database management by just copy paste, putting them in a list so that they're all right next to each other. That's all you really have to do in the database. Easy to do, change your maximum copy paste until you've got them all like right next to each other right there. So we've got all of these possible uh, items that have the augment thing, you know, or whatever for coins you find or for possible gear. You can just line them up like that and uh, you'll have to do this there are some limitations to this this method you have to do items by its only items you can't have like this chance to to pull up a weapon uh, an armor and an item like it would have to be one or the other specifically but you can do some things that would uh, you can you can expand upon this code to uh, make it so that you can pull multiple types right uh, armors weapons or items but basically put them in a list like that and then inside of your common events um, just it doesn't need a trigger call it whatever you want I'm calling it random core loot drop um, because it's what I'm using it for so control that uh, random variable put it between the number of the first the starting item number or de or weapon or armor number and you do the maximum right there uh, then we're gonna do a script call that's under the bottom um, to tab 3 under advanced script call and you open that up and inside there we're gonna declare a local variable call it item uh, we're going to say equals dollar sign game capital VM variables dot value type inside here you're going to put the number of the variable you just randomized you know you control the variable you put it gave it a random number you're going to set that into a local variables value so you created a global variable data that's sto being stored by the game system you're going to in this script call take that data and put the value of that inside this then inside dollar sign game party dot gain item um, we're going to use the data items uh, database and we're gonna pass this variable so you could put a number right here um, if you want to put a specific item but it's much easier to award a specific item using the in-game uh, editor so uh, you do this if you have to put a variable right a changing number because I don't know why they don't let you do that but if you look on change items it lets you use a variable to decide how many of an item you want but why doesn't it let you use a variable to decide which item you want to pick you know, having another button right here that lets you select a variable 
for which item would be an improvement to the engine. So that's something that uh, could be added. Maybe somebody will do see this and do a post on the forum about it. But you know, a simple uh, variable to, to select what item would, would fix this so you don't have to do a, a script call, but it's easy, right? We'll just do a script call. We're gonna say, uh, um, pass the items right here and send in that number and then put the number of how many you want. So basically we're saying, Pick a number between 351 and 374 in the database, it's these. So it's going to pick one of those randomly, say it's that one, 362. Uh, then what it's going to do is store that value inside a temporary value. Then it's going to take this and it's going to execute this code that says give an item to the party and this is the item I want you to give. Uh, now you would do the same thing if you want to do data weapons, data armors, you just pass in item and how many of those items you want to award um, just doing one so after that you could do an animation if you want it's up to you then we're gonna do um, show text that's it to let the party know what they got um, pop is if you're using Galp's message message styles plugin if you don't use it then you don't need that just say you've got this item you found this item you obtain this item whatever but we're using Yanfly's uh, codes and a variable code so it kind of looks messy, but it's really simple. All we're doing is a slash item icon uh, number. Like we'll just, you know, we'll put like a uh, six, to seven, da, da. So we're saying use the icon, display the item icon and the name for the item in the database that's 756. But inside of that, instead of specifying 756, we don't know what's in there, right? So we're gonna use a slash V and then we're going to use 96 because that's the variable because this is how you call the value of a variable so we're calling the value of a variable inside of there and now you, you can kind of see that's a lot clearer on what we're doing and how it's finding so pretty simple right now we've created a, a very few lines of code you know common event that can you can execute by just calling a common calling that common event wherever you want inside of a chest inside of at the end of a quest line or whatever and now you can award them a random bonus or or randomized salute in your in your dungeons and stuff but that's it very simple quick tutorial on how to improve upon a system i made earlier where you would basically um, roll a random number control variables and we would just like roll a random number between one and like what was it like 50 items there and then we would do like a conditional branch if that variable is one then do that if that variable is two and you see what we did right there and that's a very very long process to do a simple thing that you could do with a, a script call so Hopefully somebody likes this tutorial. If you do, remember to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I've got lots of RPG Maker Envy tutorials. I've got uh, Game Maker Studio 2 tutorials, all kinds of other stuff. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.